Well, good morning. Good morning, Raga here. I'm on this beautiful snow line secondary highway going down to the South Shore. We're going to be going riding today. It's Sunday, January something. <laughs> Can't remember what day it is, but I'll post it in the uh, post it in the video here. Anyway, as you can see, it's a beautiful, nice, sunny morning. That's the A pillar of my truck. There you go. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be heading out for the day. We're going to be doing a loop around Panute Lake. Um, that's always a good run. It, snow makes it a little bit challenging, but uh, nothing we can't really handle. This is the first snowfall that we've had, well, basically all season. Um, well, except for Cape Breton. Cape Breton always gets snow. But here, man, this is the first significant snowfall. Like I said, it's about uh, minus, two, minus four, actually. This morning it's supposed to warm up to minus two. And then this afternoon's calling for uh, flurries, and that's your weather report for the day. So I'm going to offload, get down there, offload, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the trail. Oh, yeah. Two ATVs and two side-by-sides. We got a brand-new XMR 570. We got a uh, Maverick X3 and of course that uh, RZR Pro XP that I had uh, done a video on a little bit back about the uh, just a little quick overview yes sir two rocket ships we'll probably let those guys go ahead we'll uh, bring up the rear what a beautiful day holy crap I suspect we're gonna get into some icy conditions though I did not stub my tires I don't think anyone else here is studded, but well, maybe the XMR, but we'll see. I don't know how clearly you can hear me, because I, I got this big, thick balaclava on it here again, so, because it's cold. It's a lot colder than what I thought it was going to be. It's now minus 7 Celsius, mind you, but that's still cold. Not out west cold, but cold enough for Nova Scotia here. Visor down already, it's cold. And immediately my glasses fog up. Great. As Fred was saying that we have a nice load of firewood to bring with us, or we brought with us. We have a fire somewhere in the woods here. Stop for lunch. Get off that main road for a bit. Whew, that's cold in the face. Those mega mayhems just digging. <sighs> yeah, we'll definitely let the side by sides go first, knock all the snow off the trees. Thank you for that. Whips are pretty psychedelic. Woo. He just bought that X3. Because uh, the last video, I don't know if it was the last video or the video before that, that I had put out, uh, he had that uh, RZR XP1000 with 10,000 plus kilometers on it. And anyway, motor blew. Motor blew up on the run. That's never a good thing.
I don't know what he's stuck on. A stump? His X3s are kind of slow slung to the ground. Oh! Oh, that's what he was stuck on. He was up against that tree and that rock, couldn't move. Touch bottom there. That was a rock. I told John in his old. this for a while but I just cleaned it up. <laughs> I, I got the MX9. This the MX9 doesn't have visor. Right on. I wanted this. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. You know what? I gotta take I'm gonna take my dog off because I keep fogging up if I don't have my uh, my visor up a little bit. Yeah that's uh that's one of the problems I have with uh trust me we're not in a hurry. They ain't going for it. <laughs> Oh man, this is a gnarly little trail. See, my wife won't come with me on the bike because it's too rough for her, right? Yeah, yeah. Too hard on her back. Yeah, yeah. But if I was getting another side by side, it would be an X2. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Yeah, a little bit smaller. Yeah. That thing is just like a tank going through the woods here. It's just, you have to, you have to push it a little bit. It's just long and wide, 64 inch wide and your, I think the wheelbase is like 120 inch. Trails like this, a short wheelbase goes, it makes a huge difference. <laughs> I need bigger tires! No, I'm up against that stump. Yeah.
<laughs> I didn't want to put her in dip lock back there because I knew I had to have some wheel speed. Wheel speed and dip lock, uh, that usually equals a broken axle. That's actually where it's kind of handy to have something like a visco lock where it gradually starts to increase the pressure on that side of the wheel. This is a wicked little trail going through this chopping. sure I've been on this trail before but it's been years uh oh oh he said you don't have the low end tour oh here we go yeah <laughs> he said you don't have the low end tour <laughs> you're welcome until we meet again <laughs> not the terrain for those x3s no. I was going to ask you if you wanted a bottle of armor all. Shine her up on the trail. Yeah, I didn't ask you to get a chance to put SP1 on it today. <laughs> a bad one. Oh, the old bear clacks, the airs are getting a little worn. those guys the side by side a little bit of a break yep Get the throttle side that kind of sucks that went in my eyeball well then Uh, all right. Machine's got sport and eco mode. A quirky little thing for a 
is a gnarly trail. Hung up in the center. traction between those tires and these ones. Wow! Boy did I get hung up. Wow, that's all I can say about this thing, man. Wow. These things all look like nuggets. I have no idea what's underneath here. I'm out front right now. no rear brake right now it's just there's nothing there On the underside, all that ice.
that came down a little bit too fast. hungry. Got to stop to eat here soon. My toes are cold too. Start a fire and warm my feet up. Guess we'll stop right here. It's a good little clearing I guess. Get off the path. Buried the fire. We just buried the fire, and uh, now we're headed on the road again. Got my feet warmed up some. So that's good. We've covered about 50 kilometers. I'm sitting at half a tank, and I forgot to strap my thing behind me because I can hear it slamming. I don't actually like that about this box. Anyway, we got about 120 kilometers total run, so yeah, about another 70. So, we'll see. I got a gallon of gas with me. We'll see how things pan out. If not, we got some tow ropes. <laughs> I gotta thank John running that Maverick X3 because I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and that was nowhere, nowhere near enough. So he offered up a wonderful bologna sandwich on cheese bread, which was fantastic. That hit the spot. That I'd like them to get is a nice roto pack like that. There, that certainly.
finally cleaned off my floorboards. Look at Keith just breaking ice there. Holy jeez. About an inch, inch to inch and a half thick. just saying that his X3 doesn't feel like it's got the power that it did. That's worrisome. He could have smoked the belt back there in the woods. And I, he's pretty sure he doesn't have a spare. So, a lot of horsepower only goes through a rubber band and that's, you know, I'm driving a rubber band machine here too, so. As you know, if you follow my uh, follow my videos, I did a big maintenance on this not too long ago. That uh, I did inspect the belt and clean the clutches out too. So I'm saying my bike's gonna be good to go for a while, but you never know. You never know. I usually replace the belts on the Grizzlies or on my previous Grizzly every 5,000 kilometers, even though it's not needed. I do it anyway for peace of mind, and that way I'll have a spare belt because I use the old one that I take off to carry with me. He's asking if we were in high or low. I'm in high. You can kind of creep along in high in these grizzlies because the belt always is under tension. you come to a stop in a Can-Am or a, uh, an Articat or a Polaris, something like that, the belt stops moving because it's on a bearing between the primary, uh, primary clutch. This particular machine has what's known as a wet clutch in it, so the wet clutch stops the primary from spinning altogether until I give it a little bit of gas, then it acts like a semi-auto Honda clutch does. It's just a little cent uh, centrifugal clutch. That's why these transmissions are really, really durable. One of the best in the business for a CVT, in my opinion.
okay. Well, yeah. It's good for it's it's fine for our ATV, but the railing is all gone on that side. And what? I know I know it wasn't really wide. The last time I came through here, yeah, I was like, screw that, I'm going down through there. So that's where I'm going. Well, we got a hover mode in those, right? Yeah. Is that blinking red? Keith, don't go on the bridge. What's that? I said follow Keith, don't go on the bridge. Oh, yeah? That bad? Yeah. Man, what a beautiful day. It's about one or two degrees right now. I'm just, I'm toasty. Probably turn those down just a tick. Come on, there we go. couldn't really record an outro video because I was on somebody else's bike doing another video two videos in one go so we're all loaded up here I'm just about to head out so uh, you know what it was a great day thanks for your uh, for your patronage your likes your comments your views um, you know they always are appreciated and uh, if you're not subscribed please do consider subscribing because it does help my channel grow like the video for sure helps the algorithm everything's right <laughs> everything's controlled by robots now Anyway, I had a great time. Um, you know, thanks, Keith, for leading the run out this way. And uh, we'll catch you guys on the next run. And, hey, you know what? A little uh, sneak peek. I've got uh, some footage coming up for a little bit of a quick rip on a 2023 Can-Am Outlander XMR 570. All right. Thanks a lot. See you guys next